28th of January. Okay, cheers. I have no makeup on because I am getting ready for a video and I'm quite hungry. Rico's downstairs cooking. I was like, I'm hungry and I look around and there's, I was like, I'll just have some of these stick things. What are these called? Can't remember. But I'll have some of these to keep me going in a glass of wine. <laughs> it's Friday! We can have a glass of wine. I think I'm going to follow this up with a glass of champagne because I'm going to film two videos. So I need to film two videos, get one edited and uploaded because, well, one has to be for Sunday because it's a collaboration that I'm doing the tag one and I have to get it ready because I've got Georgie tomorrow doing an overnight so we know I'm not have time to do any um any filming well I'll film Georgie and things like that I vlog I will vlog but not like a sit down video I'll not have time for that oh something's irritating okay so I'm gonna do a chit chat get ready with me and then the tag one as well dropped a lipstick it's fine it's not one that i'm going to use by the way i lost my keys this morning i could not find them anywhere i was really stressed but anyway i took the spare keys came back and they were sat you know the stool in my bedroom they were right they were like upright against the leg of the stool anyway we found them let me tell you about the products that i bought yesterday because i got a lot of questions of how I was with them so I've, I've used them all now I only got them yesterday but I use them normally especially with retinol type products or vitamin C type products if I'm gonna react I react straight away and I react with that shriveling under the eyes so last night I so this morning I use the Revita Lift fast acting serum absolutely fine I'm actually I've only used them once I don't want to speak too soon but I, I like the way they apply I like everything I like that they've got these droppers so that's that isn't it yeah hydrating smoothing serum so I love do you see that and you just drop it on I, just, I love the whole of that so that was that I'm going to give you prices as well because I didn't give you any prices yesterday let's see if we can find it these were all reduced the eye serum was, I paid £16.65, £16 and it was, the original price of it is £24.99, so that was a saving of £8.34. So that was the eye serum, which looks like this. Again, I love that it's got these ball type things. And I was, this is the one product I was really worried with, but I actually really enjoyed using it. There we go. See the, the balls and then you just rub them under your eye. This is a 2.5% hyaluronic acid plus caffeine eye serum. So that was that. So the next pro, the next thing was the, the cream. So that's this here, the Revita Lift Filler hyaluronic acid again anti-aging cream with an spf of 50 really liked the way this fell as well and this is what it looks like like so it's got a very 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 light set nothing that you would notice so how much was that so that was, I paid £13.32 for that. It normally costs £19.99, £20 for a, a moisturiser. That's great value. So that's a saving of £6.75. Okay, so that's that one there. And what's the third one? Let's see. So the Revital Lift um, Retinol Deep Wrinkle Night Serum. I paid £16.60. 16 pound 60 it normally retails for 24.99 so that was a saving of eight pounds 39 pence and that's again what this looks like revita lift laser and again look look at that so you just so we a dropper love it 
So that's, I mean, these are fantastic value and, and, and I haven't reacted to them and my skin feels good. So the Revita Lift, so what was the next one? The L'Oreal Serum. So that was 12 99 and I think that was the actual price of that because it's not showing the what it was before. Sounds this feels kind of cheap, 12 99 So that was a grand total of 59 um, 56 So I just thought I would let you know, and again, like I said, it's the dropper. Beautiful. Honestly, really, really impressed with them. <laughs> oh, it's nice to have wine when you've not been having wine. This is a New Zealand wine. <laughs> it's okay, we're fine. <laughs> So this is a wine from New Zealand. I can't remember what it's called, but I'll tell you after when I go downstairs, if I remember, if there's any left in the bottle. And my, on my first sip, I was like, it was very sour. Rico doesn't like it. Um, it's, it seems to be okay now as I'm drinking it. It's fine, it's actually nice. The first, like I said, the first sip was kind of, mm, but I'll let you know what that is. Because you know I'm going to come back on once all the makeup is on. Okay, so I have my makeup ready. I'm going to put these creams away so they're not in my way. Let me tell you what nail varnish I have on so we don't forget. I did show this nail varnish in last night's vlog as well. This is the Essie um, Making Me Happy. There we go. Honestly, see when I was in Boots yesterday picking these creams up. Woohoo! I was like, ah! I, I looked at the nail varnishes. I can't walk past nail varnishes. I mean, I did look at the nail varnishes. Woohoo! I've also come to a decision about the Prada bag as well. I'm not getting it. Not getting it. Because I don't need it. And I don't really, really, really want it. And this is something that I went into this would have been an impulse buy so if I was on if I wasn't on this no buy I would have bought it and it's, this is what's been really good about this no buy so it's not like I'm not gonna buy anything but I'm only buying things that I need so like I only went and got my creams because I need new creams I'm not gonna buy things like if I was in Aldi and I would see a cream oh, I'll just try that no I'm only buying things that I need because I want things, I want to be excited about things again. I want to, you know, like, it's like these people, and I'm going to talk about this in the next video, but this is why it's on my mind. But, you know, people that are continuously buying Chanel bags, like, the excitement cannot be there anymore. Like, when you've unboxed a whole load of them, you know, continuously, regularly, the excitement goes I'm not going to talk anymore about Chanel bags because actually this is what my video is going to be. Okay. What are these things called? I can't remember. What are they? Oh my god, I can't remember. Pretzels! Mmm. I love it when you get the wee crunchy salty bit. Mmm. So good. Right. Let's get on with the video because it's never going to happen and we're never going to upload at this rate. I don't know what's happened to me but I have I don't know what it is I don't know if it's because I haven't mm, don't speak with your mouth full under right I mean mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because I haven't been using my things but I all of a sudden I've got all excited about my things like this pouch would always sit up there or in a bag I now sit this pouch on my dressing table and I love it literally like this with the products all sitting out of it like whatever i'm using it's like my newest stuff that's in here or like now i brought it through because i pulled things out of my drawer like i want to use like a, a chanel palette that i've got so I've, I've kind of stuck it in there to remind me that's what i'm gonna use so yeah and i'm really like yesterday when i used my jumbo i don't know i just although in all honesty i always get excited when i when i use my chanel bags because they are just they are just i was going to say the love of my life but i'm sure i'm going to get a hold of the love of your life how can i buy 
bag be the love of your life but as bags go they are the love of my life they they really are especially my wee classics <laughs> right okay let's move on let's let's get the videos done because you know we all know when i chat i can chat 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 right let's do this okay filming has finished <laughs> and i went and got the bottle which is now empty so this is pyramid valley new zealand north canterbury sauvignon oh it's a sauvignon oh surprise maybe that's why i eventually enjoyed it i only had a by the way i only had a flute size glass of it but rico had started drinking it last night so he had a glass i had a glass it was gone i didn't drink last night <laughs> okay so yeah it was nice probably wouldn't repurchase it probably about 21 pounds a bottle that's it there let me show you the label people there we go that's the label there okay i'm getting all my hermes stuff ready to film my what's it gonna be the um what's it gonna be what's the title What's the title? Is the Birkin just a status symbol? <laughs> Interesting. Will I put this on? Should we put this? Whatever Hermes we have. Should we put it on? How does that look? Oh, I think that looks nice. I think that looks nice, people. I'm liking that. Let's get an Hermes bangle on, you know. It's the only Hermes I have, Hermes bangle. Oh, not that one. Put it on this one. Put it there. That's that. I'm not going to put the belt on. But, mm -hmm. if I were to get a Birkin, if I were to ever get a Birkin, this would be the colour Birkin I would get in the size 30. <laughs> Just thought I'd share that with you. Okay, do we like this? What does that look like? I'll check it in the mirror. Okay, let's do the video. I've asked a few friends, by the way, what they think about the Birkin. Is it a status symbol? This is only on YouTube. This is not on real life. They're seeing these things so commonly. Now you can rent out bags. You can, is it actually a real bag? Uh, obviously, if you can afford these bags and you can afford this jewelry, you know, it does say something about you. But why else would you spend a minimum of 7,000 pounds on the ugliest bag? 